Pasta, we opened it the end of November, beginning of December. There's nothing downtown that's all you can eat. There's no Italian joint. Uh, I mean, Tortoni's opened up after us, but other than that, there's been no strictly Italian place on High Street. Um, the guy who owns the building is somebody we rent from, obviously, for Chico's, and he wanted to get into something, so they were able to partner up, and it was kind of his brainchild, and kind of work with him and everything. And, he had the space, so we had the restaurant. We make everything in-house. Uh, the only thing right now that we're not making in-house is our pasta, just because of the law. You know, we want to get some business going before we take the time and the effort to put into the actual handmade pasta. I don't know if you've ever done that. It's, it's extensive. So hopefully, you know, down the line we might be able to do that, but right now it's all of our sauces, all of our dressings, our meatballs, everything we do by hand in-house from step one to step done, you know? I mean, I get our meat sauces, tomatoes, and meat, and then gotta cut it all up and put it all together the way that we need it. So, I mean, it's the same thing as over there. That's our big thing, that's what we always tell people. Everything's handmade, and then our beef is locally grown. We get it from uh, Hawthorne Valley Farms up in Charleston. Yeah, as of right now, other than the daily special, that's what we are offering. We have the all you can eat. If you come in, you can order a la carte style things, and that's fine. But yeah, if you want to come in and get a full meal, all you can eat is the way to go. Um, we do have some stuff in the works as far as other entree style things. But again, it's one of those, we're very young, we're six months old, we're trying to get everything moving before. We had too much for not only the business aspect, but for the customers as well. You want to get them used to something before you throw a whole bunch more on to them. We do a meat sauce, a marinara, an alfredo, and a pesto. Pastas we have, including the gluten-free that I mentioned before, we have four more. We do a fettuccine, spaghetti, penne, and fusilli. The most popular, I think, is fettuccine for sure. Fettuccine Alfredo is probably our most popular dish. Um, spaghetti and meat sauce, another one that's right behind it. Again, that's why I did the spaghetti and meat sauce. It's one of those classic look, classic feel style dishes. So definitely we want to we wanna get out there, as you can tell, we kind of made it cool, kind of calm, trying to get people people in, staying in. The exposed brick is really nice. That's what brings a lot of people in. But um, yeah, definitely the spaghetti meat sauce, fettuccine alfredo, those would be what most popular. I wouldn't call them signature, but they're most popular for sure. The pasta and the sauce itself, they're unlimited. So you want fettuccine alfredo for your first portion, you want spaghetti and meat your second, go right ahead. You know, you want fusilli and pesto, and then penne and marinara, you want to try everything, cool. Go right ahead. We have five pastas, four sauces that can be combined into you know 20 different things, 20 different ways of getting your food. We encourage people to take them actually that way. The calm atmosphere and the good food, like that's what any anybody in this position would tell you. The food, that's what you want them to remember. If they if they leave here and say, oh that was so good, and they go out and tell two people, I've done my job because those two people, you know. Down the line, you want one person to tell two, and then each of those to tell two, and you just make that nice large tree. You know, it's just the whole experience. It's an experience. You don't go, you don't come, go to a place just you know sit down, eat food. Leave. You want to spend time. You want to look around. So we try to make a, an atmosphere that they can remember, rather than just one specific thing.